So ladies and gentlemen, we have already covered 4.3. That was slope intercept form. We now know three different forms of linear equations that graph lines. And uh, we have them written down on the board right here. And I even took a picture of everything we have on the board. Uh, so this is what we need to know for the assessment that's coming up. So we should know slope formula, right? Whenever they give you two points, you label those two points x1, y1, x2, y2, and use the slope formula. Um, we also just recently learned about point slope form. That's y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1. I recommend writing what's in black with blank spots and the rest and then just plugging in your slope right here and your coordinate, your point, your x1, y1 right here. Okay. And we also already knew about slope intercept form. This is probably the one we're most comfortable with that y is by itself. And it's called slope intercept form because this value is the slope and this is the y intercept, not the x intercept. And also standard form, capital AX plus capital BY equals capital C. Um, they're capitalized to help you remember that you don't want decimals or fractions. All right, so we already know all this. And why are we going back to the old worksheet 4.2? Because on this worksheet 4.2, we just focused in on slope intercept form, which was y equals mx plus b. What I would like you to do is go back to this worksheet and copy down these points, numbers 13 through 18, that last section, copy them down in your notebooks again, and go through and rewrite the equation in all three forms, all right, all three forms. So of course, you're going to use everything on the board, right? The slope formula you're going to use. Once you get the slope formula, you're probably going to use point slope form. Once you have it in point slope form, you could change the way it looks to change it to slope intercept by distributing and by moving things over. And then you could change it to standard form by moving the x's and the y's to the left side and the number by itself to the right side. And of course, getting rid of fractions or decimals. We really don't have decimals. But anyway, um, this could be done with any of these. Uh, for example, pick a question, one through nine. Anybody, one through nine. Eight. Eight. So if I go to eight, and any the, the goal here is to practice writing all three forms. So on eight, what do I give you? I give you a point, x, y, and I give you a slope, two. So what form do you think is best to use if they give you a point and they give you a slope? Point, point slope, right? So we're going to use point slope form on this one. And again, let's write the point slope form first so we could remember uh, or memorize what it is, and that is y minus y1 equals m, parentheses x minus x1. I don't know if you noticed, but I wrote what was in black first. That's what I always do. I write it with blank spots. y minus blank spot equals blank spot, parentheses x minus blank spot. And then I simply plug in my y1 value of negative 2 right here, plug in my x1 value of negative 3 over here and then plug in my m value of 2 right in there and ladies and gentlemen this is our point slope form equation all we have to do is change those minus minuses to plus plus so here is my point slope form equation y plus 2 equals 2 parentheses x plus 3 and that is one of the forms, the easiest form to use if I give you a point and a slope. But they want us to practice writing it in all three forms. So, so far, I have point slope form. I still need uh, slope intercept and standard. Now, both slope intercept and standard don't have parentheses. So we need to focus in on that and get rid of those parentheses. How do you do that? You distribute 2 times x, 2x. 2 times 3, positive 6. Bring down the equal sign. Bring down the y plus 2. And then you choose whether you want to go with slope intercept first or point slope first. I would probably go with slope intercept because all I need to do is move that 2 over to the other side. right? You want, if you get y by itself, it'll be in slope intercept form. So subtract 2, subtract 2. And here is your slope intercept form. What is it? It's y equals 2x plus 4. So there's my slope intercept form. 
since we want to practice writing it in all three forms, I now want it in standard form. I'm going to work with this one to get it in standard form. After all, standard form is simply making sure that there's no fractions and you move your x's and y's to the left side and your number, you leave it by itself on the right side. So I'm just one step away. All I need to do is subtract 2x, subtract 2x. I will have negative 2x uh, plus y equaling 4. And this is my standard form. It is a lot of work, but it is good practice. So you could get really comfortable with all three forms. So uh, that was on a random question that you guys selected from the first half of the worksheet. But what I want you to do for homework is to go down to the final part. Why the final part, 13 through 18? I want you to do all those. Maybe you want to copy each one of these uh, on a blank piece of paper or in your notebook again, but you want to go through all of the information that we are required to know for this Friday's quiz. So you begin with the slope formula, right? And of course, if you don't have it memorized, it's on the wall, right? I took a picture of what we have on the board right there, slope formula. So um, I'm going to zoom in a lot so I could have plenty of space to work this out. And again, I recommend you rewriting this in your notebook so you could actually do it, right? Or have enough space to do it. So uh, x1, y1, x2, y2. And let's start with our slope formula. m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And I hope you know how to use it. Start with the division and the subtractions first and then plug in your values, your y2 value in the upper left, y2 is negative five, so put a negative five right there. y1 value is three, y1 value is three, put a three right there. x2 value is negative three, x2 goes in the bottom left, so negative three goes in the bottom left. And x1 is one, that goes in the bottom right, so put a one right here in the bottom right. So we now have that m equals that, but let's do the math. Up on top, we have a negative five minus three, that will be a negative eight. And on the bottom, we have a negative three minus one, that'll be a negative four. And of course, when you do negative eight divided by a negative four, that will give you a positive two. So the m value is positive two. All right, so we have a slope. We're gonna start with this. And if I have a slope, and I have some points, what would be the next best form to use, or the first form to use? Point slope, form. point slope form, okay? It's on the board if you need it. I already have it memorized. Y minus Y1 equals M parenthesis X minus X1. Again, I, know, I hope you noticed that as I was saying that, I left the blank spots there, and then I'm plugging in the values because that's how you use it, or that's the best way to use it. Y minus blank spot equals blank spot parenthesis X minus blank spot. And we will be using, uh, because it says x, whoops, because it says x1, y1, we're going to be using the x1, y1 coordinate, not the x2, y2 coordinate. Okay, so plugging in our y1 right here, that will be a 3 right in there. Plugging our x1 over here where the x1 is at, that'll be a 1 right there. And of course, the m value we just found out was 2. That's gonna go right here where the M's at, that's a two. And ladies and gentlemen, you would box this in and label it point slope form. Point slope form. You don't even have to even write the word form, just point slope. Okay, so that's one form. Which, or what should we do to start getting it into a different form? Distribute, right? So let's take that two, two, times x, what is two times x? 2x, all right, so we're gonna write 2x, and then two times negative one, two times negative one is negative two. Bring down the equal sign, bring down the y minus three, and we got rid of the parentheses. Now we could easily get in y equals mx plus b form just by getting rid of that minus three by adding three, adding three, and now we have it in y equals mx plus b. This is my slope intercept form. Slope intercept. Okay. We need one more, which would be the standard form. And standard form would simply be to get your x's and y's to one side 
and the number by itself on the right side. So we're going to subtract 2x, subtract 2x, and here's my standard form equation, negative 2x plus y uh, equals 1, okay? Because you can't really combine these two, and you write this first, and the positive y second equals whatever's left over here, 1. Now, this is standard form, but most multiple choice answers I've seen have the a value being positive. So this is also a, a good answer for standard form. Let me actually write it down. Standard is going to be positive 2x minus y equals negative 1. That would be multiplying everything by negative 1 just to make that a value positive. But in reality, either one of these is in standard form. So we've changed it to all three different forms. That's what we want to practice uh, today in class. Should we do another? Have you guys, anybody notice anything about 16? The 0, 6? What is that really? What is, what is the location 0, 6? It's the y-intercept, right? I mean, so let's say I wanted to, to solve this one. Yeah, we're going to use the slope formula. And yes, we start the division and the subtractions, and we label them. And then we plug in our y2 value of 6, our y1 value of 4, our x2 value of 0, our x1 value of negative 2, and we change the minus minus to plus plus, and we end up with a 6 take away 4 up on top, that gives us a 2 up on top, and 0 plus 2 on the bottom, that gives us a 2, which tells us that our slope is 1. So we have the m value. Now, yes, we have a slope and we have a point, so we could go with point slope form if we wanted to, that's super easy to do. Um, Let's do that. Why not? y minus y1 equals m, parenthesis, x minus x1. And we're going to use that with blank spots. The y1 value happens to be 4. The m value happens to be 1. And the x1 value happens to be negative 2. Change that minus minus to plus plus, And this is your point slope form equation. Point slope. I'm going to abbreviate PS. Okay. Now, if I want to change it to slope intercept, yes, I could distribute and then move that over and it'll be in y equals mx plus b form. But this point 0, 6, if you think about that on an xy plane, the location 0 on the x, you don't go left, you don't go right on the x, you stay at 0 on the x, and you go up to 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that tells you that that coordinate is right there on the y-axis, which means that that is your y-intercept value at 6. That means that your b value is at 6. So if you know your m and you know your b, you could actually write it in slope-intercept form, y equals uh, 1x plus 6, and then you would have it in slope-intercept. Okay. All you need now is standard, and standard would be moving your 1x over to the other side by subtracting it, subtracting that 1x. Standard form would be negative 1x plus y equals 6. And of course, you could make that a value positive and convert it by multiplying everything to, by negative 1. I know it would be a positive x minus y equaling a negative 6. This is your standard form. I'll just put stand. Or this one over here with the a value being negative, either one of those. So we wrote it in all three forms. And that's what we want to practice. And on Google Classroom, <clears throat> you will be able to uh, click on the PDF file that has the solutions for 13 through 18. So you'll see all three different forms, all the answers right there, slope intercept form, point slope form, standard form, for 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and finally 18 course if you don't have access you could just pause this video and get those answers I'm done you guys aren't let's practice all this stuff will be on the quiz this Friday